Hello friends, this is Mohit Suri, your favorite international lawyer. Today I am going to be talking about Europe. We have been getting a lot of queries from businessmen and individuals who want to move to Europe or acquire businesses there. And there are a lot of myths surrounding Europe that it is very difficult to get in, it's not business friendly, a lot of issues uh, which are just uh, rumors and have very little reality to it. Uh, so today I would be talking about Europe as a whole uh, in brief and then I would be stressing upon Portugal which is one of the destinations which has been talked about because of its in, its uh, immigration by investment program uh, and also uh, because it's one of the destinations in Europe which is doing very well in the manufacturing sector. So let me just start with this. Uh, Portugal is a small country based in the south part of Europe. Uh, it has one of the cheapest uh, costs of living in Europe and uh, has very good weather. So that's that's one of the reasons why it's it's popular with other uh, other Europeans and even Britishers. Uh, so can you can you go to Europe or can you go to Portugal? Yes, uh, you can invest in a real estate. You can get you can just move. You can acquire a business. You can acquire you. You can just uh, expand your own business there by setting up your branch, or you can you can even uh, form a joint venture with a with a Portuguese company if you want to expand to that jurisdiction. We at M Legal can help you out uh, with all of this. Uh, I, not with spotting the businesses, but yes, once you've spotted where you want to go, we can help you with all the approvals, with all the formalities, with all the legal assistance with regards to your contracts or any, if you have any disputes, we can help you out with that too. So let me just uh, stress upon Portugal uh, and help you go through the legal system of Portugal. Uh, Portuguese legal system is also a civil law system like most of Europe. Uh, they have a written constitution which is a very big plus. Uh, the judicial system is not unitary, it's divided into four parts. You have the constitutional law system, you have the judicial system, you have the administrative system and then you have the auditors. Uh, the constitutional law basically uh, deals with the new approved laws or any of the laws passed by uh, by the parliament. The judicial system uh, is the common court forming proper hierarchy. Uh, then you have the administrative court which mainly deals with the administrative law and the tax laws. And then you have the auditors uh, which are basically civil servants. Uh, dealing with supervision of and legality of public expenses and uh, and and the government so system is uh, not very different from rest of the world is one of the oldest systems has influenced a lot of other countries like brazil and other places so uh, if you move to portugal you will find a well developed legal system so that's a big plus Company setup, you can set up various types of companies. You can have a public limited company, which is a listed company. For this, you need five people and uh, 50,000 euros as investment. You have the private limited company for which you don't have any minimum investment. And it's normally suitable for small businesses. You can have single member private limited company. This can be converted to a, a normal private limited company if you find the second investor. Uh, you can have a holding company, you can have a limited liability individual undertaking or you can have a branch which is basically a branch of your international business. Uh, uh, the difference in the branch is that the ultimate owner or the main company for which the branch is established would be liable for all the actions because branch is not independent of that. Uh, let's come down to corporate tax which is one of the things which most people look into uh, when they have to set up their corporation or expand to a jurisdiction. The corporate tax 
is not very high as far as Europe is concerned. Uh, I would say uh, it's around say 20% uh, for for the companies. The income tax is relatively high and is incremental. It goes from 10.15% to 48%. Uh, the VAT has a three tier six to system which is 6%, 13% and 23% which is again in line with most European countries. Uh, they have come up with special uh, tax system for uh, for the foreigners who are coming back to Portugal or new people who are coming to Portugal to set up their business. And here uh, the benefits range from no tax for on your foreign income and ex and and a low tax for your local income. So this is something which. Uh, Portugal has done to attract the investment inside. Uh, you have a lot of immigration options when it comes to uh, to Portugal. The long term visas are called the national visas. You have uh, they are the D type visas. Basically, you you can apply for them for work, for sports, for startups, for residency, and for students. Uh, you have these are non immigrant visas, basically longer than one year, and uh, can be extended and can ultimately lead to a Portuguese passport if you live there long enough. Uh, we are there. I would be covering these things in detail in my next video. Uh, so if you want to expand to Portugal, you should be, be at M Legal through our local partners can help you at every step. We can help you with your company setup. We can help you with all the legal contracts that you have to undergo, whether it, it is for your lease or for your for your employees or for other things, so that you don't land up in a web whereby you're caught unawares uh, and infringe the local laws. Uh, we we have a wide variety of practices, as I've already told you, and and have experience in a wide variety of industries, and we can help you in a big, big, big way. So. In the next video, what we can do is we'll be discussing uh, the D1, D2 and D7 uh, visas and the investor category because these are the main uh, categories in which you move your employees or yourself to Portugal. Uh, and uh, this is something which I would be covering in my next video. And I would request you to subscribe to our channel so that when I come up with this next video, you really uh, are up updated about it because I see a lot of misinformation about uh, about the uh, Portuguese system and I see a lot of people inviting uh, people without even knowing the spelling of Portugal correctly so if you want to really move to Portugal or if you want to expand to Europe through Portugal uh, we can help you uh, I'll be covering other countries of Europe in separate videos because it becomes uh, very complicated because not all not all countries are same you can divide Europe into a lot of groups one would comprise of mainly say Italy Germany and France the other would comprise of uh, Portugal Spain and other places uh, like uh, say even Italy to some extent and then you have Greece and then you have other places like uh, like Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, which are completely different. Uh, and then there are places outside the European Union, which are also uh, in consideration like Serbia and other places. So we will be talking about them in separate videos because it's very complicated uh, and very long. I don't want to make such long videos where you get bored. Uh, so please subscribe to our channel and we'll be talking more about this. Uh, I look forward to uh, answering any of your queries if you have any and if you look forward to moving to Portugal please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.